Welcome to my video on rational functions, which I'm uh, specifically referring to a specific kind of rational function called a reciprocal function, where really the top of the function or the numerator of the function is just a constant or the number one. And on the bottom uh, isn't just any kind of a function, but it is a reciprocal of a linear function, which is mostly what I wish to discuss. Limits are defined uh, as um, a number which is super close to the target we want. Right now, where that LIM x arrow 0 notation means the limit as x approaches 0, which means that you know we're trying to describe the behavior of the graph uh, of the function as x gets super close to 0. But it's kind of hard to do uh, for reasons that will become clear in a minute unless we use left and right limits. So if we approach from the left, that's what it means when a zero has a, a little minus sign written like an exponent um, of one over x. Uh, this is like saying this is like substituting in a number close to x but less than x, like negative 0 0.0001, something like that. So if we try that in our calculation, we say that the limit is about equal to, well, our substitution, right? 1 over negative 0 0.0001, and um, we continue this approximation by saying 1 over or, well, yeah, we'll put the minus sign on the numerator, negative 1 over 1 over 10,000, which really means that our, our approximation is negative 10,000, which if we got closer and closer still, it would get more and more negative, which means that we're really approaching negative infinity, or we're certainly well on our way there. Now, what about the limit as x approaches 0 from the right? Now, that's what it means when you have a plus sign written like an exponent on the zero uh, underneath the limit um, symbol. So this is like trying to substitute x equals 0 0.0001, super duper close to one, a zero, but on the other side, uh, on the positive side. So if we substitute that in, the math is very similar, except for the minus sign. And so x is approaching positive infinity. Just be uh, the evidence being that x that one over x, when we substitute a number super close to zero on the positive side, simply becomes a very large number. So we're so we're using that to conclude that x uh, that the function is approaching positive infinity. 1 over 0 is often mistaken for infinity and um, this is a this is a huge mistake as shown here if we approach 0 from the left hand side we get a number very very negative and we approach it from the right hand side we get a number very very positive so it doesn't really approach infinity simply because the left hand side the left hand limit couldn't be more unequal to the right hand limit. So we say that 1 over 0 is undefined, right? It's undefined at 0. It's certainly not negative, but um, we can't tell if it's positive. So, uh, for one thing, the domain of uh, 1 over x is any number except 0. And also, that also indicates that x equals 0 is a vertical asymptote for the function 1 over x. And uh, that means that the y-axis is a vertical asymptote. Now, what happens when x approaches positive infinity? Now, um, the first part is to try multiples of 10 as a substitution for x. So uh, we, we see 1 over 10, 1 over 100, 1 over 1,000, 1 over 10,000. The numerator gets much, very, very large, and so the 
function as a whole gets closer and closer to zero. But keep in mind that 1 over 10,000 is still a positive number, so we're approaching the x-axis from above. What happens when it's negative? When x approaches negative infinity, we try the same trick again except for negative numbers. We end up getting close to 1 over negative 10,000. And as we can see, we're, we're still getting close to zero, but in a different way. We're getting close to zero from below the x-axis. Either way, the x-axis itself is also a horizontal asymptote. It's an a So as we can see, for the function as a whole, both the x and the y axes are asymptotes for this function. Vertical asymptotes are never ever crossed, but you might see later on in the course that we'll come across examples where sometimes the horizontal asymptote may be crossed. In this case, it never is. And it never is. It's guaranteed that the numerator is guaranteed because the numerator is 1. And because it's a constant, the function will never cross the x-axis because there's no way for the function to be 0. The function can only equal 0 if the numerator is 0. And that's impossible because we have a constant in the numerator. And here is a nice rendition of the graph using GeoGebra. Now on to another function. Um, what I'm going to talk about is a single example and a simple one of a linear function. So the example we're going to choose is f of x equals 1 over x plus 2. And it's helpful to think of 1 over x from the last example as a parent function of this function. Notice that x plus 2 is equal to 0 when x is negative 2. Um, now also, we have the same issue as in the last example. We have a 1 in the numerator, which tells us that this function will also never cross the x-axis. But we have, a, uh, we have a number, negative 2, which makes the function um, undefined because we end up with 1 over 0 again. And so x equals negative 2 is a vertical asymptote. So we have both a horizontal asymptote and a vertical asymptote. The horizontal asymptote is the x-axis because the numerator is a constant, in this case 1, and so it will never equal 0. We have a, a, a vertical asymptote with x equals negative 2, as stated earlier. We can also discuss limits in this case as well, but we won't discuss it as much here. But we, if we had to use limits, we would discuss the left and right hand side of x equals negative 2. And we would, as before, discuss the limit as x approaches infinity, or as x gets very large. And the limit as x approaches negative infinity as well. If we take 1 over x as the parent function, the horizontal asymptote shifts two units to the left. And this is an example of a transformation compared with the parent function. Now, um, to look at the graph, 
we can see uh, we will by the way we'll have a much larger graph shortly The vertical asymptote is the red dotted line at x equals negative 2. The horizontal asymptote is the x-axis itself. Also notice that the y-intercept is where x equals 0. That is at the point 0, 1 half. So it does cross the y-axis. Thanks for watching.